the Oracle listag function. The listag function aggregates strings from data in columns. It's similar to concatenation, but you can use grouping. You can also concatenate values in separate rows into a single value. The syntax for the listag here looks quite complicated, but it can actually be simple depending on which way you want to use it. The measure expression is the column or the expression to concatenate the values of. This could be a single column. The delimiter is the character in between each of the measure expressions. The default is a comma. The order by clause is the order of the concatenated values. And the query partition clause is an optional clause which allows you to specify the list act function as an analytic function. You can find out more about this function using the link in the description. And now we'll look at some examples. The list act function examples we'll look at now will use this customers table here. The first example here will perform a list ag function on the last name column with the delimiter specified as a comma. Then we specify within group and then in brackets order by and then we're going to say the last name. So we're going to aggregate the last name values and order them by last name. You can see that all of the last name values here have been aggregated into a single value separated by commas. Now we're going to run the same function here, but the only difference is we're going to put in a WHERE clause, where country equals USA. So these are the last names of the people where their country equals USA. In this example here, we're going to select the country and then the list ag function. We're going to group it by country. As you can see in the output here, we've concatenated the values for the USA people where there is three of them. For the other countries, there is only one, so there's been no concatenation here. This is a handy way to group values and concatenate them. The fourth example concatenates the last name value in the same way that we've seen, but we're not going to put in the order by clause here. You can see we have an error because we're missing our order by clause. So the order by is actually a required keyword. Now we're going to run a similar function. We're going to run listag on the last name field, but we're not going to specify the delimiter. We're also going to group it by country. You can see that the last names have been concatenated here, but there is no spaces in between them. This example here is where we're going to specify the last name and then the delimiter of a comma and then a space. You can see this is a bit easier to read, where we have the comma and the space in between the names. Now this is where we use listag as an analytic function. You can see we're selecting the first name, last name and country. And then we're running the listag function in a similar way as before. We have listag, last name, comma, within group, order by last name, which will give us a similar value as before but we're running the over clause this time. We've put in over and then partition by country. This means that for every record that we return, we're going to group the last names that have a match for that rows country value. Let's put a semicolon here and try again. You can see we have all of the first names and last names in our table. We specify the country, and then we're having the output of all the last names for that country. You can see that these values have been repeated. This is because for Adam Cooper in the USA, we want to see all of the last names for everyone in, in the same country as him. Now in this example, we're running a similar function, except we're going to partition by the last name. As you can see here, there's only single values returned, but that is expected because all the last name values are different. In the final example, we're going to run a similar function ordering by last name, but there's no group by and no over clause. You can see here we get an error that says not a single group group function. This means the query has tried to use listag as an aggregate function and we haven't done a group by. Or if we want to use it as an analytic function, we'll have to put in the over partition by clause at the end.